Hey, I'm Amy. And I'm Nick. And, and we're Carmen. Carmen. And you're watching Billboard.com. All eyes on you tonight. So let's tell to you. You got so much to prove. It's so funny that both of us have such a mixed bag of interests. So when we started making our music, it was like, well, we love urban hip hop music, but we have like this pop flavor. And then as far as fashion goes, we didn't want to do the normal hip hop thing because I am obsessed with vintage everything. I mean, Nick was a t-shirt and baseball cap kind of guy before this. So he's kind of been on this vintage journey with me, which is fun because I get to pretend he's my little James Dean. So it is fun for us because a lot of people listen to our music and they're like, you look at you and you don't expect, you know, this Nicki Minaj, like, attitude rap with like the Gwen Stefani yeah. choruses. I, I think that's one of the coolest things about it because it's actually, uh, it's different and it's, and it's actually authentic. We happen to really like that music, but we happen to also look like, it's just not, it wouldn't necessarily be authentic, like we also don't swear. In the, in the, in the songs. Raps, yeah. Uh, and it's just not really, it, we tried it, it just doesn't sound. It's not us. Yeah, it just doesn't sound right necessarily for so us. There, you know I, I mean? feel like there's other things that people will find out eventually that are just not normal. Yeah. <laughs> we just, we do things differently. Super S-T-A-R. like a crazy evolution and it's fun because our fan base and our supporters can see it. I mean we started posting YouTube videos like two years ago almost and you can see me experimenting with my hair and actually the the viral video one of them that we had was look at me now and in the video you can see the beginnings of the suicide roll and I tried like this crazy thing where I do like a mohawk with just like buttons of hair and I tried this other thing where I made like a bow out of my ponytail. And everything started because it was uh, Janelle Monae inspired me. Janelle Monae right? inspires me for a lot of style so that was a huge thing discovering her and Gwen Stefani's always inspired me fashion wise. And it's just kind of everything is changing too like there's a lot of guys like Wayne wears skater jeans yeah. and stuff. Kanye was always known for his exactly. preppiness. Drake too always had his sweaters everyone talks about Drake's sweaters you know what I mean so yeah. it definitely it's like it's evolving. We just want to keep encouraging people not just our fans and stuff but people in general to just be yourself I mean as cliche as that sounds it's cool just to feel that support from people for just doing what we love to do. You think you're the star of the show. Crash Your Party, actually the video, that's the first single came out just a couple weeks ago. Fresh off the press. Fresh, the ink is still wet. Yeah. <laughs> no, really. And then uh, album is out in mid-February. I can't wait for everybody to hear the rest of the album too. I mean, you're gonna get the pop yumminess of Crash Your Party all the way to like the super urban, almost like. I'm really excited, man. We, um, I'm proud of it. I'm yes, very proud of we're it. Very she sounds ridiculous. Stop. He does too. She sounds ridiculous. So I was like, oh, I don't like the politics behind diamonds, and I don't want a big diamond, and I don't want anything sticking out. It's gonna get stuck on my shirt. And so Nick found basically the perfect ring. She knew obviously that we are, you know, been looking around checking him out, but I didn't know he was gonna propose. That was crazy. Yeah. Waterworks. Yeah. Every I was, time. I was really nervous, actually. Yeah, he was. I've never seen him nervous in his life, and he was really nervous. He's getting all cotton mouth and stuff. He thought I was sweating. gonna say no, which I did. But I just took the <laughs> ring anyway. <laughs>